Hi guys, Tom here, RF Financial. Welcome back to another episode of Real Talk with Tom. Um, this week's episode is focused around clients who want to purchase a property with lender's mortgage insurance, or LMI as it's known and as I'll refer to it in this uh, clip here, um, but particularly purchase with LMI at higher value purchase prices. Often you'll see LMI used um, uh, at lower value purchase prices. They're the case studies that you see, you know, a million dollars, 500,000, even 1.5 is usually where um, most banks allow you to operate to with LMI. Um, however, there are a couple of banks that allow you to operate um, and borrow at a higher value by way of a purchase price um, than what I just mentioned. And a lot of the times the clients come to us and there's a negative connotation attached with LMI. Um, it's basically um, a, a large fee you pay for having a deposit that's less than the traditional 20% plus costs. It's a fee that covers the bank's insurance. Um, they feel like they're doing you a favor by lending you um, uh, a higher loan um, compared to the property's value. Traditionally, LMI is charged when you exceed 80% of the property's value um, with a loan. Um, however, it can be really useful and particularly in cases like this where a client will come to us um, and they'll have, say, okay, well, I've got my, I've got 10%, I've got 10% plus uh, the cost to purchase the property like stamp duty and solicitor and what have you. Um, however, the LMI charge can be quite large at that level. It can be about 60000 So I had a client who wanted to purchase at that $2 million level um, and it was 60000 was the LMI charge. However, when you sort of reverse engineer the numbers, the client believed that the property was going to go up in value by more than 60000 um, over the period of time that it would have taken them to save up the additional 10%. And it's a really good solution because they believe that the property was going to be worth many hundreds of thousands of dollars more um, if they needed that extra 12, 24 months to save up that deposit um, to avoid the LMI charge. So it can be the second of two goods, if you like. Um, obviously, it's something to avoid where possible, um, although there are a lot of cases where it makes sense to incur the charge um, just like this. There are some particular situations where LMI isn't available um, at that level. Um, it, there are some location restrictions. Generally, the banks want the, the property to be in a location that's more blue chip, more um, secure for them. Um, and there are other requirements um, to qualify for mortgage insurance. Usually, you need to have genuine savings, um, which is a 5% um, of the property's value saved in account for the at least the most recent three months. So there are some particular qualifying criteria. However, when you do qualify for LMI. Um, there are a couple of banks that will let you borrow. Almost, actually, up to two and a half million is generally the largest purchase price you can have. But I have had it higher than that where we've negotiated outside the bank's credit policy before. So there can be some really good solutions with LMI, um, and um, this is just one of those cases. Um, cool guys. All right. Well, that's that's this week's case study. Um, any questions? Shoot me an email or give me a call, um, and um, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you later.